Hey guys, today is January 3rd, 2024. It's um two days after New Year's. And we know that when we look at the markets, the S&P 500, the Dow and the NASDAQ have been on a tear. They've been moving up for the last nine weeks. We wanted to see when they were going to begin to drop. Well, it seems that this may be the week. It's Wednesday now, and it seems this may be the week where it begins to drop. The markets weren't open Monday. It was New Year's. But yesterday, if we look at the SPY, we see that it was a green um, candle. That's because it started down and moved up throughout the day. But it actually dropped from where it was the week before. So it actually moved back. Now, if we go to the Dow, we see the Dow also was moving up for nine weeks in a row. This time, it moved sideways this week. And lastly, if we look at the NASDAQ, it also was in positive territory nine weeks in a row. The previous week was sort of a doji. It ended the same place where it started. But this week already, it's dropped back a bit. So we may be in for a ride. Hopefully this may last no longer than one or two weeks. However, on the other hand, it may be something that's going to go on for a while. Maybe we're going to give up some of the ground that we've um, made in the last couple of weeks. Now, if we look at the prices for these, notice the SPY, which is the S&P 500. It lost $2.66 yesterday, but it's on track in the pre-market hours to lose another $2.02 today. We don't know if it's going to stay down when the market's open or if that's just pre-market and it's going to move back up. Looking at the Dow, that's $1.26. It was up $0.22 cents yesterday, but it's already down $1.26 in pre-market because it's 7.40 now. We know the markets don't open until 9.30. And lastly, we have the NASDAQ. They dropped $6.93 yesterday. And they're already back by $2.66 today. So if you are holding any stocks, they may be taking a beating today. They may be taking a beating for the next few weeks. The options are to either one, let them go, or if you're holding them more long term, you may want to consider, and not, not everybody is um, involved with options, but you may want to, if you're involved with options, consider picking up something like the SPY or even the NASDAQ or whatever, buying a put and holding on to it for as long as the markets go down so that while your stocks are losing value, your put is gaining value and you're coming out of this thing about even. Um, that's for those who are experienced with options. If you want to know more about options, I have three um, videos on the website, or I should say on the channel, Uncle Dwayne's Watchlist channel. And one of them is the Swing Traders Toolkit, 
And the other one, we have two more. One is explaining about call options. The other is explaining about put options. So that's something that you may want to consider, but we may be in for a rocky week. We may be in for a rocky few weeks with the market. Time will tell, but things are moving in the reverse started yesterday, and it seems from pre-market to be continuing today. Okay, guys, I'll speak to you later, speak to you in the next video. Have a great day.